So I call this a barn find. Uh, I think it's been out in the weather, but it is a Tektronics curve tracer. Um, and it's on a cart, so it's hard to pass up. Um, <laughs> it does have some accessories. It has some sockets and stuff, although they're kind of crusty, but I think they could be cleaned up. It has some sockets for the uh, test uh, area there. The little box that's the shield over the high voltage is broken, but that could be 3D printed or something. Um, let's see, the front screen is broken, but it's just the plexiglass over the CRT. The CRT looks okay. Um, it is a type uh, 576, so looks pretty nice. You can see the cracks on the on the front there. Yeah, it's got some dents on it, so it's been bashed into. I took the uh, test section out, the test card section out, and there's a bunch of bugs living inside. Fortunately, they're all dead, but I had to vacuum those up. And uh, I went inside the, the, the test fixture here to take a look at the uh, interlock switch, which didn't look right from the top. And when I opened it up, yeah, it was really crusty too. So um, I did what you're not supposed to do, and I've bypassed that front switch. So I think this machine's capable of giving you 1,500 volts on those connectors on the front, so I have to, I'll have to be careful. And here's what some of the electronics looks like. Uh, it's all, all discrete, no microprocessors in this thing. The uh, knobs on the front panel go down shafts to little resistors and there's couplers there and one of the couplers is broken. That's the uh, intensity for the CRT. So that was broken off, but that'll be easy to fix. And you can kind of see the crustiness of the boards. They definitely look a bit rusted. They definitely look like they've been some type of weather exposure, um, maybe in a garage or a storehouse that wasn't really sealed from moisture. I was looking to see if I could get a date code off here, and I think that one chip at the bottom is 1979, so that place is a date. I think these were built up to 1990, um, and in 1990, they were selling for $18,000 each. So I decided to take the front off to try to clean some of the glass and there's some broken pieces and stuff. So just kind of clean that up a bit. This looks like it came from one of the local, um, junior colleges, San Jose Evergreen, and it's a CCD. So, um, I wasn't quite sure what CCD was. And then on the side of the cart is marked electro optics engineering. So yeah, that might've been uh, doing research on uh, CCDs. So that's pretty cool. So did I buy a boat anchor or not? Um, it was $200. So I really couldn't pass it up. Um, even if it's just to stare at. <laughs> Uh, or maybe maybe part it out. Um, but I'm going to try to get it going. It does power up, and um, the CRT does not light. That's not a good sign. I do not get any collector voltage. That's not a good sign. But I do get base voltage. So that's a good sign. Um, so, uh, yeah, this will be a long-term project. 